Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So for today's makeup look, I'll be showing you how to create this full-on glam cut crease makeup look. I did use the Cream and Sugar Bite Size Palette by e.l.f. Cosmetics. If you have not picked any of these up, you definitely should. They're beautiful to work with and I definitely recommend. So hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like my video before you leave. So as always, to start things off, I'm just taking my Hydrating Camo Concealer by e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm just applying that to my eyelids just to get them ready for the eyeshadows. So to help me get a nice crisp line, I'm just going to be taking this sports tape and just applying it to the corners of my eyes. So as I mentioned before, I am going to be using the Cream and Sugar Bite Size Palette by e.l.f. Cosmetics. Like I said, this is just a great palette to work with. The shades are just so nice and blendable and very pigmented. So I'm first just going in with that vanilla shade and I just applied it to my brow bone. And then I'm going in with that dark chocolate brown and I'm kind of just tapping it in to my crease and I'm going a little bit higher than my crease just because I know that I am doing a cut crease today. So I first just tap it in and then I just start blending it out and I find that that just really helps when working with dark shadows. I also just went ahead and applied it to my outer V and again I'm just tapping it first and then I'm just blending it in. Then I'm taking that vanilla shade again and I'm just going over my brow bone again just to make sure it's all nicely blended and it's all seamless. This look requires a lot of blending especially when you're working with dark shadows. Just blend 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 and I promise it'll come out looking really nice. So now it's time to cut the crease, so I'm just taking the same concealer and just a round brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit on the bottom of my lid and then just look up and that will tell me how far I need to bring my concealer up. Now I'm not the best at doing cut creases but I do feel like I've gotten way better and it really just takes some practice. So don't be discouraged if you're not the greatest at first, just keep practicing and I promise you'll get better. Next up is this shimmery shade that's in the palette and I'm just applying that all over my concealer and I did use a brush at first but then I just went in with my finger. I just felt like, I don't know, it just worked out better when I used my finger. Then I'm just taking that chocolatey brown shade and just blending it into the shimmer shade just so it all looks nice and seamless and it just flows really nicely. I am then just going to remove the tape and as you can see, you end up with a nice, perfect, crisp line. So I did go ahead and pop on some lashes. Stay tuned for these lashes. I do have an announcement to make. Just stay tuned. I promise. It's coming up soon. I am then just going in with my Ole Hendrickson. Is it Ole Hendrickson or Hula Hendrickson? I don't know. But anyways, I'm just applying that all over my face. And then I'm just taking my ColourPop All-Star Matte Primer. This stuff is really good and I'm so sad because I'm almost out. I need to get some more. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy this primer and it does keep my makeup looking nice and matte all day. I am then just taking my Maybelline Matte, po matte and Poreless Foundation. This is also one of my holy grails, one of my favorite foundations ever. It's super affordable and I just love the finish it leaves. It's such a great foundation, so definitely recommend this one because it's just beautiful. Again, I'm just using the Hydrating Camel Concealer by e.l.f. and just applying it underneath my eyes, my nose, my chin, my forehead, and I'm just using this Morphe sponge just to blend it all in. I really like this Morphe sponge, especially like the edges of it you can just really get in there definitely recommend this sponge and it's only ten dollars as always I'm taking my Too Faced peach perfect setting powder and applying it all over my face and this is just going to keep me matte all day and 
yeah, it's gonna make me look good all day long. Como la flor. Sorry. All right. That was weird. I'm going to be taking this eyebrow gel mascara by Essence Cosmetics and just applying that to my brows just to set them in place and get rid of any powder that may have fallen on them. And just to give me a nice sun-kissed look, I'm taking the Milani Baked Bronzer and just applying that all over my face. So to bronze up my face slash contour, I'm just taking the Clay Face Shaping Palette by Tarte. This is the volume one. I don't think it's available anymore. They have it in volume two and yeah, sorry, but I need to use it because I have it so and I love it so I need to use it. So I just took terracotta and desert, mixed them both together and just contoured my face. So to clean up my bronzer, because I did go a little bit crazy with it, I'm just taking this Micro Smooth Baked Powder by uh, the Sephora Collection and I'm just cleaning up my cheeks just because I did go a little bit crazy with it. And I'm just going back in to the palette and taking that dark chocolate brown and just running that on my lash line. I am then just going to add some mascara and some brown liner as well. So to add some color to my cheeks, I'm just taking this Dolce Pink Baked Blush by Milani and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to just spray a tiny bit of this Matte Magic Mist and Set Spray by e.l.f. Cosmetics before I apply my highlighter. The highlighter I'll be using today is the Spotlight Pearl Palette and I'm just taking all three highlighters, mixing them all together and just applying that to my chin, nose and my cheeks. This highlighter palette is beautiful. The glow is unreal. So to line my lips, I'm just using Cork by MAC. And for lipstick today, I'm going to be taking Honey Love, which is also by MAC and just pretty much focusing that in the center of my lips. This is the perfect nude combo. And we are all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.